near a town named Alpuyeca, eight miles on a dirt road will take you high into the mountains where you'll find the ruins of Xochicalco. Xochicalco means house of flowers in the Nahuatl Indian language. Probably a communication center, many messages were drummed and sent from this very high location. At Xochicalco, archaeologists have found evidence of the Toltecs, Maya, and Zapotec influence. On the day that I arrived in Xochicalco, there was hardly anybody there. And when you stood in the silence, you could feel the wind blowing, and you could feel the presence of all the souls that were here. Tens of thousands of people lived here and worked and sacrificed to build these pyramids. Quite an incredible fortress and also a religious center. It's on the plateau of a high mountain. At Xochicalco, you'll find one of the oldest and most well-preserved ball courts of all the sites in Mexico. And it was a sport of sorts, but for the losing team, it was surely death. The masters at Xochicalco were quite creative. They created one of the first air conditioning systems over 500 years ago, using geothermal energy and long tunnels. They were able to control the airflow and cool down the ambient temperatures. The Pyramid of the Plumed Serpent is the main structure here, containing many rock reliefs and feathered serpents. Preserved incredibly well, the highlight of Xochicalco is the observatory, which was used to track the sun and tell of the seasons and of the plantings. By tracking the sun and the stars, the ancient Mayans could track the years to the most accurate of time. Even today, the Mayan calendar is still the most accurate calendar in existence, although the Mayans have been gone for over 500 years. A man appeared who was a guide and had a lantern and took us into the heart of the pyramid and to the heart of the observatory. He explained the science behind the hole in the mountain. Every year when the sun passed through the Tropic of Cancer, it would completely light this room. And if you were lucky to stand in the beam of the light, you could feel the energy instantly. Also, the light was like your eye. It was like a pupil, and it pulsates just like your eye. And the ancient Mayans saw this eye as the eye of the universe, and so they congregated here. The guide explained to me that over a thousand years ago, the ancient astronomers came here 
and they knew the importance of the stars, and they used the stars to teach them about the future and the past, and that looking into the stars was looking into the past. The ancients knew this. Xochicalco is said to be the home of the Serpent King Quetzalcoatl. This was a major trade center because it came right in the middle of the north and the south routes. Also a commercial center and fortress. Most people were quite impressed that I had made the triangle, the journey that everyone in Mexico wants to make. And I felt like I had accomplished a great deal. I really accomplished a lot of growth, spiritual growth and personal growth. And to me it was a real peak experience, one that I think of often, one that has changed my life for good and for the better. And thanks a lot for coming.